Hey kids, Brian Trauman here, Pez Through the Ages. We got a Facebook page, a YouTube channel, and 17 sheiks to talk about. I may have some sort of problem. Here's the thing. The big question is, what is a clip-on and what is a push-on band? Well, first of all, these guys come in red and black. You can see cream versus white. And, you know, if you looked at all of these... You might say, well, Brian, I, I'm not sure how many creams you've got, but it's at least that one and maybe this one and that one. And some of the others just simply look like dirty white. Uh, if you check out Jeff Rosenberg's Pez Pal handbook, this thing right here, hold on. And go get this on Amazon. It's got uh, all kinds of information on, and I think I just passed it. I did, but I'm afraid of knocking some stuff over. It's got a lot of information on all this stuff, but it's also some cool pictures and some descriptions. And so I'm not going to go through all the variations that there are, because I don't have them all, and I'm not sure that they're all correct. But the point is, these cream ones are all going to be on 3.4 Austria 2 IMCs. This one with 2 and the period. Now, uh, Clip-On has these two little pegs, these prongs that hold the band into the burnous. And those are relatively easy to find. Now I've kind of collected these at random. There are 17 and, and all but three of them are clip-on. Now the push-on, you can see have these, here's the confusion, these clips that hold on the burnous. There are no pegs like you saw over here, but rather these little lips that hold the burnous uh, the band on the burnous. So those come in black, and you can tell most easily by looking at the top. All right, see the pegs on the right and no pegs on the left. Now there are some that's going to be harder to see the pegs, like this one, but look closely and look for, if you can, these little flaps, these clips, let's not call them clips, lips on the side of the burnous. That's the big difference. And it is a big difference because... These with the lips on the side, the push-on, are significantly more expensive, at least three times the value of the other ones. I'd say four, maybe five. They're really hard to find. Other things to look for, you can see we've got blood red. This is my favorite stem color. Not that you care, but if you were buying me a chic for my birthday, I might want that. Except I already have it. Uh, this one, so there's, there's dark red or blood red. Uh, these with the cream burnouses have a lighter red. That's why some folks argue they're sun faded. But again, Jeff, check out Jeff's book for some rationale on why that's unlikely. And then there's regular red. So hopefully you can see those three differences across the back row. And if we switch these, you can see them a little more uh, starkly contrast. Dark red, uh, number two, red and light red. Uh, now, there are also some interesting things to look for. This one is a Spain head. You can see the fat face, different from this guy on the right. It's also, of course, going to say Spain on the stem, and it should have a 9 IMC. This one happens to be on a non-footed metal uh, spring. So that's Spain. This is the clip-on. This one, also a clip-on. Shoot, I did it wrong. Push on. See, I've been doing it. It's difficult. This one's neat. Um, this is also a push on. I don't know why I picked that up. This one's got the orange face. That's only going to be found on Yugo. And this is the really the dark orange face. There it is, a 3.9 Yugo. And it should be a... Uh, you can kind of see a 5. But maybe I'm just making that up. Like those eye tests they give you in school. Now, this is probably the, oh, there are a couple of DBPs out there. Those are neat. Deutsch Bundes patent. It's like the U.S. patent, but it's not. It's German. And then there are ones with a flat front. You can see how the red one on the right has a dip in the middle between the eyes, and the one on the left does not. You're going to find that, if at all, on this, which is a Hong Kong stem, 3.9, no country, but it's got the 7 up here to indicate Hong Kong. It also has partial cheeks, meaning, see how these kind of nice smooth head all the way to the neck, whereas this guy 
has pretty distinct lines separating the hinge hole and the head. You're only going to find that on Hong Kong heads, and you're going to find it on things like the cow, the raven, and, and others. Uh, Puzzy the cat, but certainly on a Hong Kong pal. The other thing to note, because of this no dip, sorry, you're going to find that in Hong Kong, including with a melt mark, and Yugo dispensers, uh, those are really quite rare. My understanding is there's maybe half a dozen of them out there so far. So Spain is going to be your top value. This orange one, uh, the no dip, probably the no dip first and then orange, but these have gone up significantly in price. And then the uh, push on bands, one, two, and three. And the other 14, I'd say the red is probably easier to find than the black. Uh, the DBPs are always fun. There's all kinds of stuff to look for out there. Now, again, don't trust me on stem colors and IMCs and anything you saw here. Pals, notoriously over the years, end up with a bunch of switches because parts go from head to head. So check out Jeff's book uh, and the rest of the collecting community for assistance on what is legit or not. But you've got your primer here. Now you know. Clip on, push on, no dip, orange face, Spain, Black, red, dark red, light red, medium red, and a host of other stuff. Talk to you later.